Hi, this is Prakash. Hope you all are fine. In this session, we are going to see how to draw the radiation pattern of directional antenna in graphical method. So, this one is the polar form. I will draw and show you. This one is the polar form of the graph. And this one. And this one is the graphical method to draw the radiation pattern. Let now start with the polar graphical method. It's an example method. So for a directional antenna, we are having a radiation pattern in one direction. So this one is major lobe and these are the side lobes and this one is back, back lobe. So for a directional antenna, back lobe is exactly opposite to the main lobe. So first I am drawing the main lobe in graphical method. So this one is the main lobe. So here we are having 0 degree and some values. So it's for an example only. Here in this graph we are having 0 here. Then plot some like this. Which are closer to the 45 degree And this one is minus 45 degree. So I am taking as it is here minus 45 degree is, is plotted in and 45 degree is here. Then I am plotting a mountain like this. So, uh, we, we completed the main lobe. Now, we move on to the side lobe. Here, side lobe is starting from 45 degree, ending in 90 degrees. So, here, it will start here and ending in 90 degrees. I am assuming this is 90 degree and plot a small mountain like this. And same as it is, we are having opposite side lobe. So here the minus 90 degree, I am plotting a mountain like this. So and this one. Now I am drawing this one, this side lobe. The side lobe is origin in minus 90 degree up to this is something minus 150 degree and this is also from 150 degree so like this so 150 degree means here 120 minus 120 is 150 degree so I am plotting in another mountain like this So now here in this diagram we are having an origin of this side lobe from 90 degree and the ending in minus 150 sorry 150 degree as it is we have to plot like this here 150 a mountain so is it clear right Finally, we are getting our back lobe. So here we are getting our back lobe. Back lobe is um, having plus 180 degree and minus 180 degree. So back lobe is starting 
near to 150 degree so I am taking back low in 150 degree and draw like this So now we finished the diagram of graphical representation. The polar form is now converted into graphical method. Next we see about half power beam width. So here half power beam width is it is an angular width of major low from maximum to 3 dB down. So for an assumption here there is a 3 dB line so in the polar graph we are having 3 dB cross sectional like this so this is half power beam width 3 dB line So this is half our beam width. Right. So next we are seeing about a fastenal beam width. The fastenal beam width is a whole width of major loop. So far we are taking the whole main loop for fastenal beam width. From this angle to this angle, we are having first null beam width. So in graphical representation, the first null beam width is obtained here. Is it right? Okay. Yes, right. Next we see about front to back ratio. It is a ratio of gain from major lobe to back lobe. The front to back ratio is calculated by the major lobe. Here we are having major lobe and this one is back lobe. The gain value of major loop to the back loop is called front to back ratio. Hope you are clear. Thank you.